Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Last time that we left off, we met Dutch um, and he is no more. I have a lot of mixed feelings about that because I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like that was how I envisioned him going, you know? I'm glad John was not the one to pull the trigger and to end Dutch for good, but at the same time, I, I don't feel like it's closure, you know? But yeah, today we are gonna go back to our family, um, see them again, and I'm very excited for it, and I hope that you guys are too. So let's jump right into today's episode, guys. Flying around in my face. Let's do Abigail's. The house is pretty similar to how it was in Red Dead 2. Very cool. Very, very cool. What you cooking? <laughs> Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Damn. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. Hmm. You have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. Maybe. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get over there! <laughs> alright, alright. Come on! Jesus Christ! Scat. Didn't he say her food is bad? Why he's taste testing it? Corn? Oh, corn remaining. How do I scroll the scare scare the crow? Get away, crows! Nice shot. Do we kill them? Where is the ones eating the the corn? How do I even scare them? There, there are too many. Do I shoot all of them? Does not seem like something possible, right? Scare them. How the fuck do I scare them? Get away, crows! Excuse me! They're gonna eat all the corn! How? How do I scare them? Oh my god, the corn! How do I do it? I don't know. Am I not understanding something? The corn is up there? How does that work? Oh, so I had probably had to go up? No? Jesus. I am confused. Why, John? I don't... I don't know what's going
It did, never stops. Okay. What the heck? This is such a weird mission. We lost a lot of corn though. Let's go back to Abigail. To see what kind of weird stuff she's gonna tell us to do. Hello, Jack. Oh, sorry. Old friends, new problems. What problems? John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. Abigail. Oh, nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Right. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I Why? Ain't not nothing. This is not nice. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? <laughs> I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Do we? The corn the, the thing the Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. <laughs> okay. The Hurry crows back, ate, though. And John, what's she like? Pretty. Oh, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. No. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> God, these two. John, wait! You going to? I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. Oh, man. Oh man, do we, we, we even have time? I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack's seen enough of me for a lifetime. <laughs> so, is she married? Is no. Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? Why? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. <laughs> I ain't jealous, so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. Oh, God! How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half True. dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Well, Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live. But it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Well. Where John just got out of there because of Arthur. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. 
Oh Did no. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. How'd that happen? Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. My jealous oh, wife. You quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. Hmm. And for teaching the miserable ghost manners, among other things. <laughs> I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Goodbye. Kind of sad that the missions with her are so short, though. Hmm. He married girl. Oh, yeah, she was into him. It was pretty obvious, huh? Ma'am. It was so obvious. I don't know. I like them better together than Abigail and John. Their relationship seems awkward. Like, I don't know. It's awkward. Now we're going back. <laughs> we're Abigail's first so that was the player. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. She's pretty. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Mm. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush redder than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. <laughs> you ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Nah. You know what I was thinking? That's quite a ranch they got there. They'll be up someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? How long in a working girl? We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? No. The whole game's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? A life cry for good? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Yes. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. Anyway, what I was How's thinking. Jack doing? Angry, upset. <laughs> He's been through a lot. Ooh. I hope he's gonna be all right. Bad and driver, time, John. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no life for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy could see. 
Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for Jack though. But I was thinking um, Bonnie and Arthur would be a good couple. Better than Mary and Arthur for sure, like by miles. <laughs> oh god. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Thank you, Abigail. I think we now go to Jack. Let's talk to our son. Oh, there is also a mission with Uncle. Excuse me. Let's do Jack's first, and then we do Uncle. <gasps> Where are you, Jack? I'm so itchy because of all the mosquitoes biting me right now. Um, <clears throat> oh. Well, then Uncle will have to do. By sweat and toil. Oh no, more wrench simulator. No. <laughs> Why is yellow his beard? Yuke. Is is that vomit? Get up, old man. <laughs> I I am up. No, you're not. Oh my god, I'm so weak. Get up. Is it lumbago? Oh, there I'm up. <laughs> oh, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. Touche. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Let's do this together. Uncle is a leech. True and true. <laughs> he will never learn. Until the day he dies, probably. I would have kicked him out of the ranch. I mean, he he did help though. He did help us build the home. All right, you stay front. Where are the cows? Why are we taking the cows though? Oh, Let's keep I, moving now. I don't think Uncle is really good at doing this. Let's go. He's not really good at doing this. Look at him. Ow, my eye. My hair is on my eye. I can't see. You're supposed to stay on front. What are we doing with the cows? Why are we taking them here? Come on! Come on, girls! Uh. Yeah, all of you go. Let's There's go. hair on my eye. Because of the fan on my face. Come on! What are we doing, Uncle? Why do we get to take them so far? Confused. That's it. Hey, hey, go back. Come on. Go back to your friends, little cow. Oh my god, my nose switch. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go up. Join them. There we go. Keep it moving. I'm moving, Uncle. I'm moving. Jesus. Let's go. I wonder if this is fun, like in real life, yeah. hurting the cows. Yeah. What the hell? What's that? Christ, John. They're stampede. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking when doing Let's this. Move them out. We we should stick to our board. Wait, where is the others? There's two missing. Where's the other cows? We missed them. They probably stayed behind. Yeah. Wait. to you. Damn it. I try so hard to not to lose any of them. Yeah. We did it. But oh, we missed you. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. Why? No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Then what do we do? We just leave them here? So. Yeah. Oh, there's the buffaloes. No buffaloes. Bison. Come on. Right. So yeah, we have another mission with Uncle. What kind of mess he's gonna put us through again? Best. The outlaws were trying to stop the train. This is the kind of stuff that I used to do in... Oh? In Red Dead 2? What's that? We got some money, nice. Well, it was just laying here, so... I just got it. Self. Oh god. A continual fist. What are we doing this time? What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Really? Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. <laughs> We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. They, they don't seem to have a good relationship. Are you gonna mount up, kid? I will try to. Come on, follow me. Go. Well, he is doing something useful, at least. I guess. Oof. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What biggity? happened to you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Really? Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. Getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. Not really. You've been taking things easy for 40 <laughs> years. Oh my god. Yeah, he's a leech. Even in the game, oh. he was a leech. So what do we do? Look, there they are. 
can see. But you're gonna last, so. Come on! Come on! Y'all go, kids. Come here. Come here. Oh, there they go. I'm gonna last of you. Let's go. There. Oh. Good God. That was that's that was weird. More left in you. Let's go. What Calm you yourself, do? dude. I just fell off the horse. The horse didn't like me. Let's try another one. Oh, there's someone camping here. I'm gonna try to get you again. Holy heck. Please no. I think that's enough for now. Let's Ooh. get him back to the ranch. There we go. It was making me dizzy. Holy heck. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Oh my god. It keeps going inside my eye. Let's go. 
It's just so hot in my country. We're Look in peak summer. Fine as green gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pockets. Mm. Any money we make's going straight back into this ranch. Not down your gullet. <laughs> oh, come on. I ain't working for free here. You ain't working at all. That's the problem, old man. What about today? And all them cattle I heard of. I'm always sucking hind shit around here. You got food in your belly, ain't you? A roof over your head? You're so tight. You get out of bed to turn over so as not to wear out the sheet. Don't push your luck. A little bottle wouldn't hurt, though. Something to ease an old man's aches and pains. No. This is why they say you should never hire the people you drink with. <laughs> true. That's true. Friends are friends and, you know, co-workers are co-workers. How am I gonna get there if the horses are... Make sure oh, there's there enough go. fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Sure, sure. Joe has no patience. Not a bad day's work. <laughs> Guess we go we can go see Jack now. This is the dogo. He's here. Cute. Hello, Jack. Let's do something together. John Marston and son. <laughs> nice. Let's see what's up. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Huh? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. What? Well, I'd... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. Not really, John. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. <laughs> then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Let's go. From all things to do, we gotta hunt, huh? Jack's horse is really cute, too. Come on, Jack. Oh, the dog so cute. We can't pet right. him. Now stay close to the dog, son. Oh, the dog's going with us. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Rufus. Rufus, so cute. You sure you're ready for this? No. I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. Look! He's picked up a scent. Come on. You know... One time I hunted a bear up in a tall tree. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. Oh. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I heard a say, Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Let him be. 
It's better in the box than the gun. You know. Now, when we get near him, hang back and stay quiet. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, it's Look, a fun one. I see one. Yeah, Where? I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Where? Shoot the elk. I have absolutely no idea where the elk is, though. Okay. No, not just shotgun. I think in the head. We go there. Come on, come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Ooh, it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. What we do? All right. We didn't do much hunting hunting in this Let's game. Let's make this quick. Oh my god, it's just blaring on the screen. <laughs> Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Dogo. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. Come on, let's go. Go on, Rufus. Let's follow our good boy. Where are you, Rufus? I can't see. Come on. Rufus? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jack you is calling. Take a shot, Jack. Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. We're going pretty far into the forest, huh? Go on, Rufus. That's it. Go on, boy. Go. Rufus is a good boy. What is it, Rufus? Look! They're over there! Oh, there's more than one elk, huh? Whoa. Me? Yeah. Sh me shooting the, the elk? Me? Shoot the elk already, please. Steady now. Oh. Oh, Jack. What are you doing? Did he get it? Come on. Did Saw he... how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I'm confused with this mission. He can't do it. It's all right, Jack. I would not be able to do that too. That's kind of traumatizing. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on, let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. 
It's a bit traumatizing. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? No. Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Questionable, but. Eh? Rufus died? How? How the heck Rufus died? What? What? Rufus died. Now, come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Come on, Rufus. Go. How did the I um Let's go. I'm still kind of like wondering how the heck Rufus died. Probably fell on the water. Come on. Damn. Check, stop pushing me. There he goes, Manzanita post. Alright, here we are. Where's Rufus? Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Where's Rufus though? Rufus stayed behind? Huh. How do you do, Mr. Pettigrew? Pretty soon they'll be introducing more comfortable treats. Hello, friend. Well, oh, he's in the market. The famous Mr. Marshall. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. I'd say you Here's got yourself a bargain there. Go into town and put those rumors to rest. Does it? Huh? Well, howdy. There are more things to do? Howdy. What do you mean? Well, let's see what we can do for you. Do I have to buy something? Yeah, you're all set. I don't well, know. Let's see what you got. Oh, I still have elk meat. Okay, I think well, I do I'm done. That's all I got for you this time. I was planning. All done. Let's head home. So Rufus stayed behind. Oh no, here he comes. Jesus Christ, get out of here. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. Slow it up now. Where is he? Oh my god, Jax is stuck. What? Where are you, Stuart? I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. <laughs> we ain't old. Uncle's old. So, did you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. I'm proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. Hopefully. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. Hmm. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can't I imagine. I can only imagine. Oh. We're going back home now. Holy heck, this took a lot of time. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, why are you throwing me off the road? Oh my lord. 
Th there's a lot of stuff happening here. There's our range. Thank goodness we got back. Hope Rufus is alright too. He's probably hungry. There we go. Oh, is there electric electricity already? Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. Hmm. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. He still has things to do. It's night. It's night time. What next? Jack again? Five a.m. and six p.m. All right, let's go to sleep and then I'll meet you guys back when it's morning. Jack, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wolves, dogs, and sons. <laughs> What's going on with you? Hmm. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just... Just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Oh. Rufus! You're gonna have to kill the wolves. The dog will soon sniff them out. Let's go! Come on, Rufus, let's go. <laughs> He's so cute running. So wonky. Look at him. I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? Because you are. That's what fathers do. Just trying to look out for it. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. You can't be tired yeah. already. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. You probably just would, some though. things you start have to be finished. Like. Look, he's on to something. Stay close, Jack. Uh -oh, what are you doing? Uh, is Uncle really your uncle? No, at least I sincerely hope not. Oh my god. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. <laughs> he was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. Damn. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. He's what, like 70? Come on, boy. 80? Can't be 60, because if he was old when John... Hmm. Find us a wolf, boy. He is Look, probably son, as old he as... He sniffed him out. Hosea. Did we get them? Go. Where? Keep your wits about you. Those wolves ain't afraid to defend themselves. Yeah, we're just coming and barging in their territory just to kill them, right? Steady, Jack. Whoa. Whoa there. 
My god. More? Soft on the trigger now. We done. Good work, son. Go on now, Rufus. Find the rest of them. But leave the, the wolves alone. Come on. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Jack's going to the wrong place. That ain't all the pack. There's gotta be more around here. We're gonna end the entire pack. It's always more fun killing something you don't like. What kind of lesson you're teaching Come your on. son, John? Excuse me? What do you smell, boy? You, you really need it. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's what's to be a farmer, then I would probably him, never be able to. What's up? Um, where are we going? Let's go. Where? Where do you go, Rufus? Oh, there he goes. Oh. That's his signal. Come on. Where? Oh! What's happening? Look out, Jack! They're attacking! Oh my lord, what's happening? Of course. Of course. How many are there? What I'm doing, my horse is uh, throwing me out of the... There's only one. Where's my horse? It looks like all of them. Nice work, Jack. All right, we should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Come on. Well. That was some good shooting, son. Hold on there, cowboy. <laughs> you ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Yeah, Jack, you need to. to we'll go out yourself. again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Where is he? Oh, there. Why are you so far behind? Anyway, let's go. Of course. What? A guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Come on, we can't stop now. Baby, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. No, and I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. But in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Man, he is so slow. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. No. You can't be tired already. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Jack Marston, most wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. You have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Whoa! Come on! Right. Come on! Jack has some strange ideas, huh? I guess he was not joking, though. He probably wants to be a lot of 
he grew amongst them, so he probably remembers. Go. I mean, maybe not much. Come on. But he probably does remember the people from the gang. I guess we're teaching him how to survive in this area. Let's go. Perhaps. <laughs> well, we're back to Beecher's home. Yeah. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. What next? Oh, we only have a mission with Jack now. Again. So what's next? He's not here. Between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. All right, we're gonna do that. All right, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Spare the love, spoil the child. What are we doing again? We're, we're hunting again? No way, right? Too much hunting. Too much hunting. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tales of hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down oh that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Oh my god. Come on, Rufus, let's save, let's save your owner. I hope Rufus does not die. Would not be fair. Find Jack, Rufus. Come on, good boy. Jack really be doing some shit. Slow. Okay. Oops. Where is Rufus? Calm down, Rufus. I'm going. Where's Jack? What you got, boy? Can you smell something? Oh my god, Jack. Why? You see, that's why you don't give a gun to a kid. Yeah, that's one of the things. Come on, Rufus! Find Jack! Yeah. Come on! Oh, he went really far, huh? How long? Hurry, Rufus! Didn't even take his dog? Jack, stay down! 
Oh my goodness. Don't move! Keep your head down! Ah! He did. The poor bear, he was not doing anything. He was not doing anything. What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Hmm. He really did all of this shit, huh? And he came without his horse? What the hell is wrong with this boy? Now hold tight. Let's go. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? Oh, I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Jesus. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Jack's having daddy issues now. Yeah. Makes sense since his father is never around. Come on. But now What's he's your here. Gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. That's not what enough. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? True. I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. He has some twisted ideas, huh? Some really weird ideas. Come on. Slow down. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. Ooh. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. Damn. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Mom pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. Hey, uh... Go! I thought it would be, like, common for kids growing without their fathers in the early 19... Early 19s. Come on. Because right now in my country, since then, it, it is pretty common. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. He's probably not gonna be ready for a little while then. Alright guys, let's go see Jack. The last enemy that shall be destroyed. Huh. Alright. <sighs> what are we doing now? Hey Jack. Hey Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me 
and your mother and do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. <laughs> Maybe, Pa. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Pa. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Jesus. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that the day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Oh. Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. Interesting. One of them machines can turn men into angels. <laughs> one of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. Why? John, come here, quick. What? Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. What? Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. What? Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Now, you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, what? looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So What's it happening? seems. For the love of God, there's still time for you to run, old What's happening? What the heck? None of you bastards are... What? Why those guys are here? What? Excuse me? How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Oh, who? How? What is happening to you, John? I'll keep watch out here. Really? You're gonna stay alone outside? Better reload that. Go check on your. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside. You hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Jack. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Rufus, get inside, Rufus. Know. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Rufus, run away! Come yeah. on, there's an entire army. You've got to be kidding me, huh? You government crook. That ain't done. What the hell? Where are they? What are you doing it? Uncle! Uncle! Are you alright? Damn it! I'm hit! Oh my god, you Uncle! Was over. Oh my god! How are you still alive, dude? I hit you in the head! You are behind the house too! What the? What in the actual hell? Why is that mess? 
We did what they asked to. <gasps> My fucking god. What in the world? Jack, where are you? Come on. There's more. Jeez. What in no? Oh, he killed himself. Dumb. Are you all right? Hey, He's dead. Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. He dead. Take Jack and Abby. <laughs> Take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No. no, Uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. What are we gonna do? I'll meet you there. Things took a turn to the wars. What the hell? Where am I supposed to hide, though? Make a run for the bar! Let's go! Move! Okay, okay, okay. All right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Now, quick! Run for it! Woo. Play time's over, kid! That ain't Ow. nice! Run to them! All right, you're covered! Now go! go. Ooh, Jack! If you're the Ooh. Stop. Bitch. Where are they? Now, quick. Run for it. Oh my god, there's one god coming. help this country if we go to war again. Shoot. Oh. I want to get Stop, stop. There's more. 
is a whole mess. Where'd they go? Are you hurt? Come on. Now listen. Jack, Gnarly, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worrying about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> Oh, John. Oh, John. Oh god! Did you Why? hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! We shouldn't go back. They are gonna see it. Oh my god. Where? where? did what they asked for oh no did they take him
God damn. I kind of knew this was coming though. There was no way they would let him go. Jack now. Where are we going? Inside home? Yeah. He lost both of his parents. Yeah. This poor guy. What am I supposed to do? This is still the same. What else? What should we do now? Let's look at the map. I can actually do the things that his dad didn't finish, huh? But why? Do we have any missions? I'm honestly really confused. What is going on here? You need help? I, I do actually. Let's see this stranger. Well, hello. Is that hello, you? No. Is that you? Hello, sir. You work with the government. You one of them agents? That's how you talk to people. Sure. So <laughs> why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you wanted results. Hmm. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Oh. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> Thank you for the information, mister. You're just telling him... Oh my god, are we really gonna take revenge? John Marston! You're really gonna take revenge now? Where is Lake Don Julio? Are we in the right path? Oh, there we go. Took me 20 minutes to figure out that this was what, what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Oops. He's living in this little house? Oh, hello, lady. How do you do, young man? Not very well, apparently. How do you do? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Hmm. 
Where he is? Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. We will. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. Sensitive? Man. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. Oh, damn. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Jack got a nice voice. He got a nice voice. He's what now? 19? Here we go again after Ross. Let's see the map now. <laughs> Is it here? There we go. How do we cross? He's probably still a teenager, right? Oops. Let's go. It's 1914. It's probably 18, 19, I imagine. I don't know. He definitely looks older than that, but he's definitely a teenager. I guess during this period, like, teenagers grew up faster. Because people used to do things much earlier in their lives, I guess. Yeah, I'll meet you guys when I find that place, which probably will take more 20 minutes. Okay, we got here. Almost 20 minutes. No, I'm just joking. But it took a long time. <laughs> We're in Rio del Toro. Oh, that's Ross? Or is he his brother? Hello? Who are you? You're not Ross. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. Hmm. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Oh, my God. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Understood. Now jo Jack kind of looks like John, though. He kind of looks like John. A little bit, you know, the nose. And the eyes. <laughs> He's over here. Jack is really determined to get Edgar Ross, huh? He really is going all the way to Mexico to get him. He must have waited a lot. I wonder why Abigail died. Abigail. I said it as if I was speaking Portuguese. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. Hello. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. Do you? I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. 
and I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Don't talk to him like that. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Oh, we're going a, a duel? No. <gasps> oh. Shoot. Jesus. I know the tutorial. Oh my god. There we go. That doesn't feel good though. It doesn't. Oh my god guys, we did it! We finished the game! Oh my god, we did it! But it, it doesn't feel good. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for Red Dead Redemption. I hope that you guys enjoyed this journey with me. I don't really feel... I don't know. I don't feel like this was closure, to be honest. We killed our friends. Dutch killed himself. Jack killed Ross. It just feels like there is no end to the killing. Uh, one kills the other and the other and the other. Where does it end? I didn't really want Jack to seek for revenge because it does not really make sense to me that, you know, like, of course you would want to avenge your father, you know, but I don't know. It just does not feel good. It just does not feel good because I don't think that that's what John would have wanted for Jack. Um, it's kind of cool that we can still continue playing as Jack. There is still a few things that I want to do, like the Stranger Missions. I didn't really want to bring it to the channel because otherwise it was going to be too long. So I'm going to do the Stranger Missions and other stuff here and there off camera. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, between Red Dead 1 and Red Dead 2, I gotta say that Red Dead 2 is definitely my favorite. I think I was more attached to Arthur. I think that basically playing Red Dead 2 kind of spoiled my experience with Red Dead 1 a little bit because I was like extremely attached to Arthur when I started playing as John and I was like, okay, well, I like John but not as much as I like Arthur and not that I don't like John, I really like John but Arthur still has my whole heart and I have a lot of mixed feelings about Dutch. Um, I think that he was good at some point. Uh, not good as in like being a good man but he was good. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today with Red Dead Redemption 1. I hope, really, really hope that this was an enjoyable adventure for you guys. Today I recorded a lot. Um, today I recorded a lot, so hopefully whew, I'm gonna rest a little bit for a few weeks before starting Red Dead 2. But for you guys, it's probably gonna be pretty soon when you know these one finishes. Red Dead 2 is gonna be up uh, pretty close, I think. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore because I'm tired, so I'm just gonna leave now. Thank you, and I hope to see you guys for Red Dead 2. Bye, guys. <laughs>